I've heard that there's something called intermittent fasting. How does this work and should it be done on the ketogenic diet? So intermittent fasting is goes really well with the keto diet. And the reason for that is when you go keto, you're fat burning. So you're um, so you 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 have a much more stable source of fuel. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to to divorce yourself from food. So you don't need to eat every six hours or four hours or whatever it is. So on keto, the beauty of keto is it allows you to only need one or two meals a day. And because you only eat one or two meals, you're naturally going to be intermittent fasting. And intermittent fasting starts at 12 hours. That's the minimum because it takes about 10 hours to empty your system and shut down your digestive system. And then it starts up healing in the body. And so you want to get your intermittent fasting ideally to either 16 hours. So that means you have an eight hour window in which to eat. Or you want to get it up to like 20 hours. That means you have a four hour window to eat. What's the advantage of intermittent fasting? The advantages of intermittent fasting is that um, you're, once you've been doing it for a while, it'll heal your body and it will improve your performance. It'll improve your performance in terms of physical performance and mental performance because you, it'll help your brain because it, it kickstarts all the healing processes in your body. After about 12, 14, 16 hours, it starts up all these healing processes in you. So if you fast for like, for example, 20 hours every day, then for the last four or six hours, the body is healing and repairing itself, uh, and which is also anti-aging as well, and it increases your performance. Um, so what you'll find is if you do intermittent fasting, is you'll be healthier, you'll be happier, you'll have more energy, and the beauty is because you're eating less and you're cooking less, it'll save you a lot of time. It'll save you a lot of uh, cleaning up, washing up, cooking uh, on food because you don't need to eat three meals a day. We're not designed to eat three meals a day. Are there any other ways that I can heal my body? Yeah, so you could also do cold showers. That would also kickstart the healing process. You could just eat fat. That would also start the healing process. Uh, it's physical exercise, running, weights. They also help the body to kickstart the body into healing. Or breath work. Breath work is very powerful. That also kickstarts, especially that Wim Hof breath work, especially if you combine it with an ice bath or swimming the sea or or a, a, a ice shower or a cold shower. Um, what else um, kickstarts it? Yeah, exercise. Meditation also does it as well. Uh, bit laughing, laughing does it as well. So if, you're, if you watch a comedy or go and see a comedian performing like a, like there's a comedian I know, really brilliant comedian called Joe Baines. He's amazing. I've seen him live. He's awesome. Go and see him. He's got shows everywhere. Find him on YouTube.